What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, Doctor of Physical Therapy, ToneandTighten.com, and this is how to stretch out your tight calves. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today here on Tone and Titan. I'm excited to be able to help you out of this problem, show you some stretches that are hopefully going to help you guys to feel better. If the things that I do share are beneficial to you, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, okay, so calf tightness, common problem that I see a lot in runners, um, kind of the otherwise active patient population. Those who stand a lot can experience this. Um, those who have had an injury in the past, hip, knee, ankle injuries, can predispose you to some of this calf tightness that we're going to be talking about. The problem that I see with this is that it can develop into bigger problems down the road, including Achilles tendonitis and even some plantar fasciitis. And so let me show you a few stretches to help you to get rid of some of that calf tightness. Um, before I do that, if you're new to Tone and Titan, thanks so much for joining me today. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new video from us. You can do that. There's a red button down below. There's also a little red button right down there. Subscribe to our channel. Now let's get into these calf stretches. The first thing we're going to want to do is actually reach for our foam roller. So with that calf tightness, you can actually develop what we'd refer to as fascial adhesions. You've probably heard of fascia before. It's a, it's a thin covering for each one of our muscles. And what can happen with range of motion limitations is that fascia can restrict the movement in the muscle. So it's important that the first thing we do is release some of those fascial adhesions in order to maximize our stretching, in order to make our stretching more effective. We're going to do that with a foam roller. If you, de if you don't have have a foam roller, check the link in the description to this video. Um, it'll link right to this one. It's probably my favorite one, the one that I recommend the most often. So to foam roll your calves, um, the easiest way to do it is to um, sit just like I'm seated here. You're going to use your hands. It requires a little bit of some upper body strength to do it. Pop up onto the hands and then you're just going to roll back and forth on that foam roller. If that feels okay, if you need something a little bit more, what I would do is cross my legs. Now I've got all of my weight just on that left leg. As I roll that back and forth, all of a sudden that becomes a lot more intense because there's a lot more pressure on my left leg. What I typically do in my clinic is I'll set a two minute timer, have patients start on a foam roller for about two minutes. You can do that once a day. Next is going to be a seated calf stretch. Probably one of my personal favorites just because what I find is that a lot of times with calf tightness, that kind of carries over up into the hamstrings as well. It's rare to find someone who has tight calves and doesn't have tight hamstrings. And so if I can throw a stretch at you that's going to address the tightness in each one of those areas, bonus, right? And so this seated calf stretch, what you'll do, I've got this treatment table. I tell people at home, go to a bed or your kitchen table are kind of the two best places to do this couch is just a little bit too low. It's kind of hard to get into the right position. You're going to take a belt or a towel or a sheet or a rope. I've got this stretch out strap that works really nice. And then, uh, so I'm going to stretch my right leg out. My right leg's out straight. I'm going to put that around the ball of my right foot. And now what I do is I pull that towards me. Um, pretty good calf stretch right there, but the real money maker with this, the part that I want you to emphasize is straightening your back out. If you, if you sit up nice and straight, I don't want you to round forward like this. If you sit up nice and straight while you do this, all of a sudden now I get that in my calf, but that's also right behind my knee and that's also up in my hamstring. So a good stretch here. So I'm pulling here. I'm going to sit up straight and then I'm going to lean my shoulders towards my toes. And it's not a very big motion. You'll see that's as far as you can go, but that really is going to accentuate that stretch. It's going to put it again, your calf, the back of your knee, and up into your hamstring. You'll do that for 20 seconds. You'll repeat that three times, and you can do that once or twice a day. The next two stretches I want to show you are going to be done in standing. This is going to be kind of your classic runner stretch, or if I told you to stretch your calves out, a lot of times people know this one. What they don't know is a variation on it that I want to show you right now. So the, the runner stretch, if I'm going to stretch this left leg out, this would be, I'm going to come up to a wall. I don't have a wall right here, but I pretend like I'm pushing on a wall right now. That left heel is glued down to the ground. Hands go against the wall, and then as you bend your leg, you kind of push your hips into the wall to introduce more of a stretch into that left leg. Knee is locked out, and that's going to get a good stretch into that calf. Now, here's what people don't always get. Your, your calf is actually two muscles. One of those muscles, the more superficial one, the one that kind of sits on top, 
crosses your knee joint. With my knee locked out, as I push on that wall and as I push my hips towards the wall, I'm gonna get a pretty good stretch. I feel that in the top of my calf and even the back part of my knee. We're stretching that more superficial muscle. If you want to maximize your time, maximize your outcomes, we need to get that bottom or that deeper muscle as well. What you'll do is you'll get into that same stretch position, pushing on a wall, knee straight, but then all you do is just unlock your knee. You'll see all, I mean, it's not a very big movement. I went from knee straight to knee unlocked as I'm pushing on that wall. As I perform that stretch, all of a sudden I feel that way down low, almost in my Achilles tendon. That tells me that I'm pushing in the right direction, that I'm stretching in the right spot. All right, you guys, so just two more stretches for you. We're gonna take those same principles that we just learned and apply them in a little bit different way. Um, if you've got a stair available, I like this on a stair, or like I said in the beginning, a lot of times runners will have tightness in their calves. If there's like a curb available, this is a great stretch that you can do there. We're just gonna do a kind of passive calf stretch up on a stair. You're gonna stand up onto the stair and then let your heels drop below your toes. Now, I feel a pretty good stretch there. That's in both of my calves. If you wanna take that even further, what you can do is bias one side. So now, my left leg's up on top of the stair, but my right leg is down off of the stair. And then, so my right leg's straight, toes are on the stair, heel is below my toes, and then I can just hang out right there like that. With my left leg, I can take weight off or I can put weight on to my right leg depending on how much stretch I'm tolerant towards, how much stretch I can do. And so that's a great way to stretch out that gastrocnemius muscle. My leg's straight, that's the muscle that we're stretching out. But now we know that there's two muscles, we've gotta stretch them both. And so if I just unlock that knee a little bit and then that same principle, if I just put more weight onto that left leg, I feel that one down a lot lower on my, on my leg. It's down kind of more lower calf, Achilles tendon, with my knee straight. It's up high and behind my knee, unlock it, and now all of a sudden I get more of a stretch down low in that Achilles tendon area. So three times 20 second holds on each one of those. So three times 20 seconds with your knee straight, three times 20 seconds with your knee bent, and there you guys have them. So those are about six of my favorite calf stretches that you can do to just alleviate some of that tension, some of that pain, some of that tightness that you might feel in your calf it's a great way to prevent further injury. If you guys appreciated this video, if you benefited from this, I hope that some of this helps you guys out. Uh, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. If you guys have any questions or comments about this video, leave those in a comment down below. I'd love to get those from you guys. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I would love to hear from you with that too. If you guys haven't done so already, I'd love if you subscribe to Tone & Titan here on YouTube. There's a red button down below. I'm also gonna drop it in right up here. Click on that button to subscribe. This is for Achilles tendonitis. If you guys have some Achilles tendon issues going on, that's the, the video for you. Here's two other videos that you guys might like right over here. That's it from me. We'll see you next time on Tone and Titan.